long, so make them a little shorter. Okay, and that speed's fine. So now we're gonna start making our circle. So you'll turn in kind of towards me and then go back out on the rail, just so everybody can see your new horse. And then you'll go back that way. Oh. Yeah, right. just a small circle since we're in here, yeah. So then you'll go straight, and once you get over by the bushes in your house, you're gonna make another circle. Yeah. So right now you'll just stay straight and just kind of relaxed and breathing. And now you're gonna circle again, yeah. Good, so now she's pulling on the bit just a little bit. So if you feel her pull down, then you'll just hold your hands and tighten your fist to make it uncomfortable, but use your leg. Yep, now you'll go straight. You're doing great, yeah. Push your thumbs down a little bit just so that it doesn't look like you're hitchhiking, but you don't have to pull hard, yeah. So your fingers still stay relaxed, it's just your thumbs don't stick up. Good. Lift your right hand up a little bit so it's not so much on your thigh. Yeah. So as you turn, you're just trying to keep your hands up so they don't touch your legs. Yeah. So she bends. It's just, you, you know, she's a little bit stiff. Okay. So now you're going to go straight. Yeah. And then shorten your reins just a little. Yeah. And then you'll keep your hands forward, though, so you're not pulling on her and your thumbs are down. Okay. So now we're going to start the flower. So you'll turn towards me, and then you're going to go right past me towards the sand pile and when you get there you'll turn to the right towards the road so as you're getting over there you'll look and then right rein a little right leg and then your left leg pushes her over and you lean back and come towards me again so now you'll pass me and go to the other side it doesn't matter either way just don't hit me <laughs> and then once you get over there you'll turn to the right again so it'll be your right rein, right leg. You'll lean back and then push with your left leg to push her back towards me. Now kind of go straight behind me. So we're going to go in a different spot. Good. So remember your reins will tell her which direction and then your leg's going to tell her to go. Yeah. So she won't go. We won't pull harder. We'll just use more leg. And now you can make noise or cluck a little bit so she figures it out. There you go. Good. So good enough for the first time. So now she can just sit there on a loose rein. No, it's too slow. So a little bit faster. So alternate leg. Yep. So one leg, then the other. And if she's not listening, then a little bit spur. So once you get down this part, because again, the here she might get a little pacey. So once you get down this, we're going to start walking even faster because she's still a little bit too slow for a flat walk. So she should be able to out walk me at least and I can walk three miles per hour. That's better. A little bit more. There you go. So now you see her head's kind of coming up and down. You'll feel more motion in the saddle kind of moving back and forth. Yep. And now a little bit more leg because she slowed down. Yeah. Now as you come down this, if I tell you it's pacey, then you'll push her over. So on this side, always kind of stay off the rail so we have the option to push her over. Good. Now a little bit more leg because she'll get slower as you start going up the hill. A little bit more and then lift your right hand up because your hands are a little cockeyed or uneven. Yeah. That's good. Then you can kind of hear her feet too. So every time you get to the bottom of this, just think she's got to go uphill, so I might have to push her. They all tend to slow down as they're going uphill. That's not better. <laughs> nope. Good. So you're doing good. So just keep going around. Mounting block will speed up again. So now we're working towards the running walk. We don't want her to get step pacey. That's good. Keep going. Very good. Yep, now you'll just keep that. You can hear it. You can hear it. Oh, if he shuts up, you can. <laughs> so you're doing good. She's not pacing down the hill. Just push your thumbs down a little bit and just kind of keep your fingers around the reins lightly. 
Yeah, really good. So she's good, you know, like we don't have to ride her as much contact. The only hard thing is the ones like this getting too much weight on their front end. <clears throat> so you always want to feel that they're not like pulling you down with the reins. <clears throat> if she did, you just kind of half halt and push her over. You're doing great. So go one more time around. Yep. Now try to go a little faster and we'll see what happens if she stays or she changes her gait completely. Right? Nope, she's still okay. It looked like she was gonna change and she didn't. So she, she's smart, she learned. You're still okay even going down the hill, she's good. Yes, yep. Oh. So with her, her, it'll be a little different because it, it's because we're pushing her. Okay. So just walk off again. Okay. And next time she does it, just push her over a little bit instead of stopping and backing oh, her up. Cause, yeah, because it wasn't a hard pace. It was more like a step pace. Okay. And so with her, we can probably get her out of it. But look up. Yep, bring your energy up and then go right back to walking again. And I know it's different because I say when they like when Vetter was pacing, stop and back him up because he would hit a hard pace. She's not as um, bad because it's not a true pace. So if we just push her over a little bit, it might get her out of it. Go yep. Yeah. So go a little faster. And if you feel it changing, just give a half halt and push her sideways. You're still good. Still good. Yeah, and then push her a little more. Now push her sideways. But no, your hands keep those uh, together. Does that make sense? You kind of pushed your hands forward. So think of when you're pushing her sideways, bring your hands towards the fence or the rail and just push with that left leg. Yeah, you'll see it in the video. So go a little faster, a little bit more. Now pull your hands a little towards the fence and use your left leg. That's better, yep. So you have places to work, yep. And think of pushing her sideways a little bit. There you go, so that's good. So she's keeping it now instead of going the step pace, which she was yesterday, that's really good. So we'll go one more time, and if she's good going up that hill, then we'll stop at the top and give her a break. So a little bit more, because she's going to the bathroom, so you'll probably have to push harder. So no, because that one wasn't good. Because she went to the bathroom right before that, so she didn't hold the speed. Oh. Yep, so go around again. Because we were trying to get her to go a little bit faster. So once you get to the blue mounting bo block, start trying to add speed. More. She slowed way down. There you go. Now think of pushing her sideways. Keep your speed. Huh? That's better. Good. Now stop her and we'll give her a break. Yeah, push your thumbs down. Now think a little faster. So more leg or a little more spur. So right there, she got just a little step pacey. It wasn't bad, but I don't know if you felt it change. Felt it. Yeah. yeah. So if she does that, the next time you can still try to keep the speed, but try to push her sideways to change her footfall. So left rein, left leg, right? I, it'll actually be right, because you're going to push her towards the fence. So you'll keep her off the fence. I, if we're on the trail, you could do it either way, but here we're kind of using the fence. 
and then uh, even your hands again because one hand's lower than the other. Yep. And then wrap your fingers around the reins more. Yep. Okay. So a little bit faster. And when you're going uphill, stay uh, more off the rail so you have more area to work with. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> yeah. Keep your hands even with each other. Yeah. Turn your hands closer to each other, if that makes sense. Yep, keep your hands even. Remember to stay off the rail some. Yeah, and then push her over as you're going for speed. So good, but she, just at the end, she got a little bit towards the step pace. So, so you just, to push her over there, right? yes, you push her over there. And again, if that doesn't work, then you half halt. But the, you know, they'll usually slow down as you half halt. Yeah. But the more we kind of keep her a little bit bent, the less likely she's able to do that step pace. So a little more leg. More. More. <laughs> I think she's wearing out. There you go. So it took a while to get the speed up though. Yep, so try it again. Come on, do this thing. Yeah, so you can quit. Yeah, and if she won't go, think of pinching your butt cheeks together to push her too much. So that's a step pace. Yeah. So go again. Good. That's a good bend. That, they're right there. She step paced right at the end. So we know that's her maximum speed in here. So we want to keep her just right below that. Yep. So just try it again. Because the only way to build her muscles and make her stronger is to keep her under that speed. So she engages her hindquarters more. Yep. And make her push herself up that hill. Yep. Try it one more time. So she did the same thing. Yep. I would think just once you get to the blue mounting block, like cut the turn, and then the whole time as you're going up the incline, push her sideways at the same time. That way you have a lot more room to do it. Sideways left or right? Uh, off your right leg towards the rubber footing. So cut your turn. Now push her off your right leg, yep. Better. So um, she still step pates a little bit, so do the same thing, just a tiny bit slower. Okay. She's like, oh my goodness, what is wrong with you two? <laughs> like my job was so much easier before. Yeah, that's good. A little slower and more bend. Okay, now I'd stop her because I know it's hard. That was good enough for today. Good job. <laughs>